Apple was just forced to ditch their precious lightning charger cable. Even giants must bend to the will of the people, and the winds of change are blowing stronger than ever. Apple would not have implemented such a change to their iconic charger without some massive reasons, but this time, it only took one. We're going to dive into Apple's latest change to their lightning port, and the real reason why they didn't have a choice in this drastic change. It's not because they wanted to or had to make a big change to make it stand out from the previous model of the iPhone. Apple's recent Wonderlust event was a spectacle, but today we focus solely on the new iPhone Thunderbolt change to USB-C. It's a very significant change because of Apple's stance. Apple has long maintained the use of its proprietary lightning port, arguing that moving away from it would create waste and stifle innovation. However, the article criticizes these claims as pretexts to maintain control and generate revenue from licensing fees. Apple charges license fees for any accessories that use its proprietary lightning port, thereby benefiting financially from its continued use. So why the seemingly bad decision to change when considering these aspects? European Union legislation on June 7, 2022, the EU Parliament and Council agreed that USB-C would become the standard charging port in the EU by 2024. This means Apple will have to adapt its devices to comply with this standard. The EU's move aims to reduce electronic waste and make life easier for consumers and accessory makers. It is estimated that the new rules will help EU consumers save up to 250 million euros a year and reduce around 11,000 tons of annual e-waste. USB-C is faster and more versatile than Lightning, which still uses the outdated USB 2.0 standard. Apple already uses USB-C in its iPads and MacBooks, making its refusal to adopt USB-C for iPhones appear inconsistent. However, a few issues with the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus that most users might find annoying is that it does not come with fast charging or 3.0 speeds. The iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max does get these high speeds, but the base iPhone 15s do not. It's something Apple could have definitely gotten a little more recognition if they just made all the iPhone 15s have 3.0 speeds and fast charging. The financial impact of Apple switching from the Lightning port to USB-C is complex and not straightforward to quantify. There are some important factors to consider when determining how much money Apple could lose over this, or it could help them at the same time. Here's how. Apple charges a licensing fee for accessory makers to use its proprietary Lightning technology through its MFI Made for iPhone iPad program. Switching to USB-C, a universal standard, could mean a loss of this revenue stream. Apple's ecosystem is one of its strongest selling points. The switch to USB-C could make it easier for users to switch between Android and iOS, potentially weakening Apple's ecosystem lock-in. Failure to comply with regulations like the European Union's push for a common charger could result in hefty fines, which would be an additional cost for Apple if they chose not to switch. With this in mind, Apple positions itself as a leader in innovation. Resistance to adopting a universal standard could tarnish this image, whereas compliance could enhance its reputation for user-friendliness and corporate responsibility. So what does USB-C enable? One cable to charge all your Apple devices, faster data transfer like they advertise its ability to record to an external SSD, which to be honest is not the main reason why most people are going to buy it, and even charging accessories like the new AirPods directly from the iPhone. So what does this mean for the United States and the rest of the world? The switch from Apple's proprietary lightning port to the more universal USB-C has implications that extend beyond just Apple as a company, and it's hard to say what they will do next. Here's what this could mean for various stakeholders. A universal charging standard would make life easier for consumers, reducing the number of cables and chargers they need. Even though having an iPhone with unique abilities like the blue bubble or the lightning charger gives the user a sense of being in an exclusive club, frankly, many people are probably relieved that it's about time Apple made this switch. It simplifies life for the consumer. With a universal charger, consumers could save money by not having to purchase multiple chargers and cables for different devices. USB-C's versatility could encourage more seamless interactions between devices, regardless of the manufacturer. For U.S. policy and trade, standardization could affect trade dynamics, potentially making U.S.-based Apple more competitive in markets where universal chargers are preferred or mandated. If the EU's push for standardization is successful, the U.S. may consider similar regulations, affecting not just Apple, but the entire tech industry. Apple's switch to USB-C could have a ripple effect across various sectors, affecting everything from consumer convenience to global trade and environmental sustainability. 
It's a move that reflects broader shifts in the tech industry and could set the stage for future developments. Time will tell, and eyes will be on Apple to see what move they make next. We put a lot of research into our videos, so if you enjoy this type of content, subscribe for more. See you in the next video.